K-pop taking over South Korea and now the world, its idols are faced with many interviews and screen time and, like any unscripted interaction, they can get awkward, especially when more than one language comes into play. Check out some interactions between hosts and idols that are so cringy they're awkwardly funny. Ad choice is advertising in red invented by Teeds1. When hosts on Radio Star wouldn't stop questioning Guhara about her dating life and she threw a bottle the hosts asked Kara's Guhara about which question she was most scared to answer, and she said, I don't want to talk about dating, to which Super Junior's Kuhayan said she was the dating idol. She pushed her bottle across the table in protest, which was already shocking, but when they kept asking about dating and she replied it was because articles always come out, MC Kim Gura said, once articles keep coming out, people will stop caring so much. But I was wondering, your relationship doesn't seem like it was that passionate. Hara answered, as I've said before, our Japanese promotions were very long. That's all I'll say. Later, Kuhain said, if I open my mouth, Hara will be over. Hara exploded, burst up and said, what do you mean, I'll be over? You can't be 100% confident, either. She got so emotional that she started crying, honestly saying, I'm really angry, too. When Sugar and Jin reacted like this to J-Hope's introduction on Ellen Ad Choice as advertising in red invented by Teeds or browser does not support video. This whole interview was slightly awkward, since the translator never translated what Ellen was saying so, the boys, besides Room, couldn't understand and were reacting awkwardly because of it. 3. When this interviewer yelled his introduction so suddenly it scared the shit out of Akdung Musician. Your browser does not support video. 4. When iHeartRadio's interviewer was a massive EXO fangirl your browser does not support video. She just stared for a full second after they answered the first question, whispering, great, and the boys cracked up and shot from their chairs. Your browser does not support video. Then she animatedly told EXO how big a deal it was that their billboards were in Times Square and the boys thought her reaction was so funny they mocked her by imitating her gestures. 5. When BLACKPINK's Jenny came across as superior during a Knowing Brothers episode Your browser does not support video. When she was asked if she studied English while she lived in New Zealand, Jenny replied, Well, I didn't really have to study because I live there. The host asked, Which city did you live in? And she asked, Do you know any cities in New Zealand? 6. When V burst out with not. Your browser does not support video. When Ellen asked if any of the boys had dated their fans, V exploded with not, and then, no, very abruptly, making everyone laugh in sheer surprise. 7. When Crystal responded to a question about her abrupt personality your browser does not support video. A host spoke about how fans thought FXS Crystal had a split personality because she comes across as rude during TV appearances but warm on her show, and her response was abrupt. 8. When Sungri did an interview with Flo Rida the whole thing was awkward, to be honest. Flo Rida did not seem into Sungri's English attempts. 9. When Danny had to translate for Tiara and for Tiara's first US appearance for Tara and for did not go smoothly, and it wasn't all Danny's fault. 10. When Chris Wu was asked whether he stays in touch with EXO members your browser does not support video. Chris didn't really answer, and then went along with what the host was saying as she tried to elicit some response by saying, yeah, yeah, when she asked, or is it a matter of it is what it is, 10 facts about girls' generation that'll make you say, how did I not know this?